All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are trying out some new equipment here. So let us know in the comment section what you think. Does the sound quality sound any different? Does it sound worse? Please let us know as we are trying different things out. But the cool thing about these microphones, it means that we are one step closer to recording our Would I Lie to You, our Wilty Edition, 100K Subscriber Edition. By the time you're watching this, who knows? Maybe we're already there. Right now, we're about 400 subscribers away, so it's pretty exciting, pretty yes. cool. I have my truths out already. Did you send in your truths? Not even close. Oh I haven't even thought about them yet. Oh, my gosh. When we hit 100,000 subscribers, they send that play button and whatnot. When we hit it, it'll just be like another Tuesday to me, okay? It'll be cool, but on to the next milestone, my friends. But we are today checking out some Lee Evans. I almost said Michael McIntyre. I'm not sure why I was thinking that. We do react to a lot of Michael McIntyre. But I saw the blue far away at the beginning of this video, and I was a little confused there. Which one we check it out today, Joni? When ice cream strikes, you must act fast. Um, this feels like a you video. <laughs> ice cream. Oh, okay. I wasn't getting it first. I um, was getting like your lactose intolerantness. Absolutely. Not that everybody needed to know that. Seems like I can care less. Seems like every comedian has a video like this. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Because it's so relatable. We've all been there. We've all been like. Oh my, <laughs> we're having a situation right now. And there's nothing worse than not having a bathroom nearby when you have that. When you have that moment, you're just like, oh, thank goodness the bathroom's right down the hall. I'm good to go. This is going to be a nasty one. But <laughs> um, we're assuming he's going to talk about that. I wasn't even thinking about that. So good on you. If you like our reaction anyway and the bathroom talk, please don't forget to. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next uploaded videos. Now, when I meant bathroom talk, I just meant like sounds, you know, like you can relate to it. Not let's go into the. Oh, details. I can go into more details no, if no, you want. No, 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 nobody wants. I can to go hear into it. my most recent experience if you want. Please don't. I won't. Just saying, it could be much worse, sister. <sighs> Careful, ladies, when you complain, or and men, when you complain about your lazy husbands, because it could be worse. Here we go. I got one of those the other day, an ice cream headache. You ever had one of them? You actually stop functioning for a full minute. Stuns Brain your whole body, little piece of ice cream. Like I hate those. You know the SAS used stun grenades to overcome them terrorists in the NBC siege? They should just throw in some ice cream. Go, 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 go. Oh, raspberry reaper. <laughs> you would never get to say that. <laughs> yes. They should warn you about ice cream. Like that advert on the TV at the moment. When ice cream strikes, you must act fast. Here's one side of your face, frozen. <laughs> Is your speech slurred? Too fast. <laughs> then you could be eating a McFlurry. <laughs> so I never get these people that go to restaurants and they eat food that's so hot they're in agony when they eat it, but they put up with the pain because it tastes so good. You ever see these people? You'll see them sat in a restaurant in a hot sweat going, <gasps> <laughs> What's the point? I mean, we all like chips, but you wouldn't stick your head in a deep fat fryer, would you? <laughs> you know, you like the chippy, do you want them wrapped or open? You know, I mean, why? Could you imagine? No. I love no. chips! <laughs> I love chips. <laughs> no. I hate going to restaurants with my wife. I hate that. I hate when your wife complains on your behalf, dumps you right in it. You know, you say to your wife all secretly, like, this is cold. She goes, something there. Goes, no, 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 no. As soon as the waiter arrives, he says it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but isn't that more you and I'm the one that's like, don't say anything? Um, I don't know. Like, I'm the kind of person I'll be like, well, then say something. But I don't really mean say something. Yeah. Like, I want to handle the situation so I can enjoy my food. So I'm like, well, just go ahead and say something to him. But I really, after working in a restaurant for six years, I really don't want to be that person who yes. complains. Yes. Unless it's just like they made a mistake. Like I ordered a, a bacon cheeseburger. Didn't come with the bacon. And I was like, I didn't want to be, you know, a punk, but I wanted to let him know that there was a mistake. And he's like, can I bring you some bacon? Like, no, I'm not going to want bacon because I'm like so hungry. I'm going to finish this by the time the bacon gets here. I don't want two pieces of bacon because it's not like real bacon anyways. I was like, but you know, you might want to alter the check. He's like, oh, it's the same price. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> But I felt bad doing that because it's just, I don't know. You just don't want to be, I don't want to be a nuisance to people. When I went out to breakfast with my mom um, during our 
break, our spring break just the other day, I ordered, we went out for breakfast and I ordered French toast and it came with eggs and I asked for sausage because it said bacon or sausage. And it came, like I asked for sausage, but it came out with bacon. Oh, and no. my mom's like, just ask and change it. I was like, no, no, it's fine. And I just never say anything. And I didn't eat it. It just stayed on. Why didn't you the eat the plate. bacon? I don't like the bacon. Like you said, it's not real. They like oh, right, fry right, it right, up yeah. so it's like so like Super hard, thin. and you they could buy just the crappy stuff. Yeah. you could just snap it in half. And I'm like, yeah. no, I don't want that. Like it just does not look appetizing. But yeah, I am not somebody to say anything. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, unless it's a, unless like the entire meal. The funny thing is, like as a as a server, we would have people they would eat the entire meal. They would eat the entire plate. How was the food? Oh, my wife absolutely hated it. She absolutely hated the food. Okay. So I get not wanting to say something and be embarrassing. But you ate the entire yeah. plate. And now you're complaining about it. And they wanted to get it comp. They wanted to get yeah. it taken off. But you ate it. Yeah. You didn't say anything the other three times I came by your table to let you know. Like, nice try, pal. That kind of stuff makes me scratch my head. But I agree. Guess whose dinner's gonna be flopped in now? <laughs> Nobody's, madame. I shall heat it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You see this every once in a while. Technical difficulties with the headphones. We're good to go. Let's continue. Went back just a little bit. <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> 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 I love it. I love that when you're in the air dressers. You know when they put them, when they put your head over the sink, they all say the same thing. Is it too hot? Yeah. Have you not? So you only say that after the water's coming out. You're in the sink. I'm no, nah, you're bad. <laughs> so you've been f waterboarded in there. Wait. That's what you're in for. A short back and elbow grade. Why are you face well, down? It's a very sinister term when they wrap that towel around your head, doesn't it? Why is your face down? Your face should be. Your head should be back, and then they put your hair in the bin. You're asking the wrong person. I've never had anything like that done to me. Oh. They start leading you across the shop, you know, with a f taking you. You're all disorientated. I haven't done anything. <laughs> you know, they tear that towel off your head. There's a bloke standing there with scissors going, What do you want? I don't want nothing, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I should do more sport. I've never been a sporty bloke, you know? Even when I was at school, I was like a twat in PE in cricket. They used to send me out to the edge of the field. Go on, Evans, you shit. I was always a fielder. I'd be miles from any state of play. I'd be on the edge of the field on my own going, Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Then what would happen is like, Evans! Yeah? <laughs> I got it! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I timed that perfectly with that sound. The javelin? You should see me with the javelin. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A cartoon. Basketball. I was always more interested in the noise your shoes made on the basketball court, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> I tried that cage fighting. <laughs> I tell you, them budgets can be vicious, can't they? <laughs> I bought one of those swing ball sets, you know, to play with the kids out in, that, out in the garden. Even though it's a kid, you're still quite competitive, isn't you? You're like, if you're winning, you're like, ah. <laughs> skill that is. <laughs> skill! <laughs> Absolutely. If your kid to win, you're like, ah. It's because you're a good bat. Yeah. <laughs> if you manage to swap bats and he still wins, you're like, hey, what the hell have you done to this bat? <laughs> <laughs> That is hilarious. Oh, that is me to a T, 100%. Yes, I was like, boop, boop. 100%. <laughs> it's not my fault. I grew up with brothers, especially one very competitive brother, where life was over for the next 24 hours if you lost at anything. Oh. Um, it was a great motivator by my parents to do competitions on different things, but, oh, man, the aftermath was rough. There were so many games, like an older brother, older sister, where I would be losing and they were just like driving me crazy so much that I would end up like crying. Like, oh, I don't want to play anymore. It's like we would go to play a game and they'd say, Nick, you can't quit halfway through. 
You can't. Okay, I won't. I promise. Halfway. No, I don't like this no more. <laughs> Oh, so tough. I will say his family is very competitive, and there may be a brother that changes rules in the middle of games. This is what we established. Them. I remember <laughs> that you're just sitting there and you're like, mm, "You just told me I couldn't do that, but now you're doing it." It's uh, it gets pretty intense for sure. It does. It does. And I like playing games with some competitive nature to it because it just makes it more interesting, makes it more fun. Which is why we play along to Wilty or to eight out of ten cast as countdown, but. You definitely got to know where that line's at. You got, and sometimes I do cross it, and I'm like, "Oh, why am I getting so frustrated?" It's just, it's just who I am. It is what it is. I can admit to it 100. percent Hey, wait, wait. I don't get frustrated. Oh, you're talking about the, the competitiveness. I'm not competitive. <laughs> I can admit to it 100. percent um, I can be a baby 100. percent I don't think I'm super crazy, but I would say maybe an 8.5. I would say I'm like a four. I'm not. Hey. At least a five. But do I get mad and upset or anything? I never do. What's wrong with you? Okay. When's the last time I punched the wall? Okay. When we're playing games, you guys are all getting on me. Or what? Uh, um, I can't think of the word now. I had a brain Ganging fart. Up. Ganging up. Yeah, they but are. not that. They do. Targeting me. You guys are all targeting me. You're all after me. That's not fair. Why can't I ever get a wild? Yeah. And I just sit there quietly. And I sit my little booty, whether I'm in scum or whether I'm lying, dying in crazy eights or something. And every now and then I'll say, fine, skip me. Why don't you? But for the most part. Oh, and you are totally fine with being skipped. la di da I love being skipped. Stop it. As I said, fine, skip me. Why don't you? But I don't. I don't cry or whine when you win nine out of ten times. I don't win nine out of ten times, first of all. Uh, and crazy eights you do. When was the last time? Oh, on the on the game pigeon thing. <laughs> Anyways. See? You were wrong about this video. I was you got 100% me excited. off. I'm sorry. You got me excited. I was. I was 100% off. But it was Look, okay because it was still it. extreme. Amazing. We got it recorded too. It still was absolutely hilarious. This guy is so funny. I mean, I could watch him talking about like his day gardening or whatever and he's still going to be hilarious about it and the I way he his, moves his body yes his impression of himself the cricket squeak, field squeak. or whatever <laughs> or in the back <laughs> <laughs> hey, that is the most playing the game sound. here oh my gosh <laughs> oh it's horrible and we had those kind of floors after they just freshly wax them like in our uh, pods at school yes. and so the kids going back and forth it's like stop it and some kids just like they know how to make that sound extra when they're moving just like he's talking to, oh it drives me insane Recently, my students have enjoyed, especially today, making fart sounds all day. And I'm like, that's it. <laughs> no more farting sounds. So annoying. When I make them, I can't help it. Naturally. If you like our reaction anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Bye-bye.